excited to be able to introduce Force 6.5G to the marketplace. We know that when corn growers uh, have the chance and the weather window opens in the spring and it's time to plant, we know growers want to go. And, and they, there's, it's valuable to growers if, if, if they don't have to stop and, and reload and, and they want to they keep going and get the crop planted as efficiently and accurately as possible. And so as a result of these changing needs over the past couple of years, that's why we're introducing Force 6.5G, which is our new high load, uh, higher loading granule formulation of Force it, it, that results in half as many bags to handle, load, and haul. A 40 pound bag of Force 6.5G treats 175% more acres than, than the prior formulation. And all of this results in fewer stops, less hassle, more convenience to get the crop planted fast with the same best-in-class performance. And a uh, couple <coughs> pictures of some roots here that have been protected by, uh, by Force 6.5G. These roots, um, you can see, th these roots are, this is a non-corn uh, rootworm traded hybrid, so there's no traits. Uh, this is a high pressure situation, and uh, this gives us a lot of confidence that Force 6.5G can really perform in heavy corn rootworm pressure situation and protect these protect these roots for for to uh, to maximize the yield. You know, we we would recognize that uh, the use of of BT traits in corn um, are, are an outstanding tool for growers to to utilize, and uh, they really are the foundation of. Uh, the corn rootworm strategy across the Midwest, but there are uh, there are areas where the use of a good corn soil insecticide like 46.5G can really benefit the grower. Uh, high pressure situations where maybe a grower has a um, has a corn hybrid where he's traded down to a triple pro or or an individual just one corn rootworm trait. Um, if he's corn on corn, that's an area where the use of 46.5G would would really benefit and limit the risk and, and help preserve the yield. On the other hand, the use, we have, we have hundreds of trials since 2007 um, where use of force on trait just simply drives yield. And an average of 10 bushels per acre, even on top of, uh, of stacked hybrids or, or pyramided hybrids, uh, force on trait just drives yield. And so uh, obviously, um, if you're a grower in a high pressure situation where you're using a conventional hybrid, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's really a, a very clear example of, of where a product like 46.5G could, uh, could be used to, to preserve the uh, yield and quality and mitigate the risk of feeding and damage.